We've come to know the team at Rascal Animal Hospital very well, well over the last couple of years. Their dedication to helping our four-legged friends is unmatched. They also do extraordinary work through Rascal Charities, and today they have a very important mission on behalf of a young pup named Nancy Drew. The woman behind all of Rascal's work is head veterinarian Dr. Michelle Gonzalez. Dr. G, welcome. Thanks, Crystal. Oh, thank you, and thank you for bringing this sweet little gal. Now, tell us about Nancy Drew. She has a very special condition. Yes, so Nancy Drew is a 10-week-old cabichon, which is basically a designer breed. It's a mix of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and a Bichon. Um, so she was actually from an Amish puppy mill, oh. and one of the rescues that we work with in Dayton, Love for Canines, whenever there's a reject dog, they give them to her. So she, they felt that she, she had something wrong with the way that her heart pounded. So they took her over to Love for Canines, and then she came to us. And she has a very serious condition. It's called a patent ductus arteriosus, short PDA for short. And basically what she has is an extra vessel that is bypassing the way that the blood flow normally goes from the heart to the lungs and then to the body. <laughs> so, um, so what that causes is it leads to congestive heart failure and it, mm. it keeps her body from being oxygenated properly. So as healthy as she looks, yeah. she's actually really sick. If she doesn't get help, mm -hmm. Well, you're, what you're trying to do for her, what will happen? Basically, she needs surgery, and she needs surgery within the next couple of weeks because her heart is already so big and having such a hard time pumping through her system. So if she doesn't have surgery within the next couple of weeks, she's literally going to go into congestive heart failure, and then she's going to die. Oh, my. We're looking at video of her right now. She yes. looks, look at her. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, she doesn't goodness. know any better. She was born with this condition. If you feel her chest, like, yeah. I had you feel it. You had me feel it before yeah. the show. You said put your hand on her chest. Yes. And, I mean, it felt very mm -hmm. unusual. Exactly. And for her, that's normal. So she doesn't oh. know any difference. So she loves to play. She has all her toys. That's actually, she's <laughs> crashing with me right now. So, yeah, and she is, she's amazing. She doesn't know any she's, better. She's full of life. She yes. deserves a shot at life. Exactly. And this is the best time to do it because she's still healthy. So if we do surgery, we have a better chance at her staying healthy. But how much time do you have? You said weeks? Only a few weeks, yes. Okay, so your charity is looking to raise enough money to be able to perform this surgery, and you right. guys do this all the time. The, yeah, like Rascal Charities helps with all these different rescues, and we take special projects of animals. Like we help with a lot of orthopedic problems is the most common ones that we do. With Nancy, because the surgery is such an invasive surgery and so difficult, we're actually trying to raise money so that one of the doctors at Ohio State University can actually do the surgery at the College of Veterinary Medicine. Oh. Um, so we're looking for hopefully Dr. McLaughlin there, who is an awesome soft tissue surgeon, to go ahead and do the surgery. We want to give her every chance that, that she can have. She deserves the best. Mm -hmm. So if someone out there is watching and they want to save Nancy Drew's mm -hmm. life, uh, donations yes. and they're tax deductible. Absolutely, because we are a 501c3 nonprofit. So all donations are tax deductible is allowed by law. And rascalcharities.org is the website to go to. And on there, there is a page that has the different patients that we're helping with. It has Nancy's story and it has a button that people that jo just want to donate for her, they can do that. There's a couple other patients that we're working with. Or we're watching video of those other patients yes. right now. Yeah, and these some, are some of these, other patients. yeah, exactly. Some of these are patients from the past and some of them are patients that are current. So right now we have two dogs that have really severe um, orthopedic problems that have a lot of pains when they're moving around. So we're trying to raise money so that that doesn't happen. So again, people can donate towards one specific pet or they can do a general donation. Um, and PayPal right now has PayPal giving that um, as soon as they put our name on there, 101% of donations actually go to Rascal Charities. Oh, that's a great yes. deal. So I know people are watching and they're wondering, is Nancy Drew, once she's healthy, going to be available for adoption? Most definitely. You know, it's going to be hard to get rid of her, but <laughs> she, needs a, she needs a loving home. And uh, loveforcanines.org is the place to, to contact for information about adopting her. Um, and they have a lot of other pets that are a lot like her, not necessarily sick like her, but, you know, a lot of other puppies. I hope people get out there and donate right now for little Nancy Drew. And Dr. G, thanks for what you're doing. Thanks a lot.